Hello, my name is George Hewn, and welcome to Bubble Chart Pro. Prioritizing and ranking projects when you have many different projects and many different criteria to consider is a real challenge to any business. In this video, you'll learn how to, using the built-in smart project ranking engine with Bubble Charts makes the job of project prioritization easy and fast, even fun. SMART stands for Simple Multi-Attribute Rating Technique. The SMART system was developed and refined by researchers from Harvard, MIT, and the University of Southern California. As you'll see, the SMART system lets you strategically rank your projects based on what's important to you and your business. For additional background on the theory behind the SMART methodology, be sure to see the How SMART Project Ranking Works video at www.bubblechartpro.com. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is to use Bubble Chart Pro Plus to prioritize a set of projects. Here, we have an open portfolio form that lists 20 projects and their associated attributes and the attribute values for each project. These include attributes such as profit, cost, the number of resources required for the project, the percent probability of success, the strategic value, and the time to bring the project to market. Notice that in the value score column, the scores for all the projects are zero. This is because we have not assigned any weights to any of the attributes yet. So, let's start by assigning a weight to the attribute profit. We do that by clicking on the top row of the portfolio to open the attribute form. Here, we can enter a weight for this attribute, and we're going to enter a value of 8,000, and then click Save to close it. Notice that after we save the attribute, the value scores are immediately displayed in the value score column. Also notice that they are in the exact same order as the highest profit to the lowest profit projects. Why? Because we have only weighted one attribute, so the value score is directly identical to that attribute alone. If we click the calculated button at the top, we can see the weighted scores for the attributes are exactly the same as the value score in the value column. So, we're going to click back to the actual values now, and we're going to assign a weight to the value cost. So when we do the same thing, click on the top row to open the attribute form and enter the weight. And we're going to enter a weight of 6,000, meaning that the cost is going to have three quarters of the influence on the value score as profit because 6,000 is three quarters of the value of 8,000. Now we're going to check the lower values or better checkbox because in this case we prefer lower cost projects to higher cost projects. So now we click Save and again we can see that the value scores have instantly recalculated. We can also see that the value scores are no longer directly proportional to the profit value and if we click the calculated button again, we can see the two value scores that sum to the overall value score. For example, we can see on the first project line that the calculated profit value plus the calculated cost value add up to 80.8 .8 value points. Next we're going to weight the probability of success at 5,000 and the strategic value at 4,000. Note that each time we weight a new attribute, the value score is immediately recalculated to reflect the addition of that attribute. Now, we're ready to study this a bit more closely, but the first thing I want to do is to change the patterns of the bubbles for the bottom six projects so that I can track them easily in the bubble charts. I'll select the bottom six projects by shift clicking on them, and then I'll select the modify selection menu item and change the pattern on the selected projects. Now, you can see that the pattern has changed. So now let's open some bubble charts. The first bubble chart we're looking at shows the value score on the y-axis, the cost on the x-axis, and the bubble size represents the profit attribute. So we can see the bottom six projects are a mix of low cost and relatively low profit projects and higher cost large profit projects. 
we can also see that our best projects are going to be in the upper left quadrant and our least attractive projects are going to be in the lower right quadrant. Now, let's take a look at a different chart. This chart shows the probability of success along the y-axis, cost along the x-axis, and the bubble area is proportional to the project profit. In this view, the least attractive quadrant is the lower right quadrant, and notice that three of the four projects in this quadrant of high cost and low probability of success were among the lowest ranked as well as three projects in the lower left quadrant that were low probability of success, low cost, and low profit projects. Now, let's take a look at a different chart. Finally, let's take a look at a chart that shows the strategic value plotted along the y-axis, cost along the x-axis, and the bubble size represents profit again. In this view, we can see that the two projects in the least attractive lower right quadrant of high cost and low strategic value had low overall value scores, and three of the projects had strategic value scores of five or below in the lower left quadrant. One of the projects with a high strategic value that had a low value score was Project Columbia, which we saw on the other bubble charts had a relatively low probability of success and smaller profits than the other projects. Now you can see how combining the smart project ranking system with a high performance bubble charting system is a very powerful way to rank and select your projects. You can see other videos and download the Bubble Chart Pro free demonstration version by visiting our website at www.bubblechartpro.com. My name is George Hewn, and thanks for watching.